Hey, what's shaking? What's shaking? This is Sunny. I'm here at Iron and Soul Jiu Jitsu. Oh my gosh, what a great place this is. Plus, they do a little bit of yoga. The only thing I really know about any of this is uh, wax on, wax off. Stand the floor, stand the floor, paint the house, paint the house. Well, that's karate, you know, the karate kid. But uh, I'm sure it's a little bit different, but very similar. I'm kind of eager to, to uh, understand the jiu-jitsu uh, way of uh, their thinking and uh, some of the principles behind it. A lot of discipline, a lot of discipline. But I know a lot of people have been talking about this place here in Clyde. Uh, it's right between, almost in the city limits of Clyde. It might be in the city limits. But, uh, so we're going to talk to Justin and I know one of their uh, instructors, uh, Chris. Chris Shea, so we'll talk to Justin and, uh, and Chris here a little bit. Let's go, Iron, Iron and Soul Jiu-Jitsu, yeah! Alright, here we are with Justin. What's going on, Justin? Not much, sir. Nice See place you. you got here. Thank you, thank you, sir. How long have you had it now? Uh, we opened in 2016. 2016, yeah, I've heard a lot of great things about it. Uh, I know a lot of people that's come through here through the years. And I know you do uh, Jiu-Jitsu mainly, right? Correct? Yep. yep. And a little bit of yoga? Yep, uh, we have another yoga instructor that comes out on Saturday mornings, Holly Moser, and okay. runs those classes. Oh yeah, I know Holly. Yep. Now, now, uh, like, well, I was out front there and I did a little bit of my karate, you know, the wax on, wax off. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the main difference between uh, karate and jujitsu? Jujitsu does have some striking in it. It's limited more self-defense than used to get it to the ground, okay. where, if you're familiar with wrestling, jujitsu okay, is yeah. extremely similar, okay. except for the pins don't count. We're making each other say uncle, basically tap out or say tap or stop, that hurts. So okay. it's a little more like what you did with your siblings when you were growing up, you get them to say uncle, that's jujitsu. You're just wow. wrestling around okay. until somebody quits. That's a good explanation. See, yep. I, didn't, I did not know that. Yep. There is points in the more sport yeah. specific, but that is the goal. Basically control your opponent and kind of get them to stop doing what they're doing safely without hurting them, but you can hurt them if need be. Oh, wow. So so, so there's like like wrestling tournaments, there's jiu-jitsu tournaments. Mm -hmm. yep. Wow. So you travel around if you want? Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. There's wow. tournaments pretty much every weekend throughout every state. I mean, we've been all over the place. I've competed pretty much all over the Midwest for the last 17, 18 years. Oh. Um, not as much anymore. I'm getting a little older. <laughs> but Yeah. So it's a sport. you got to be a little flexible. That's where kind of yoga comes into play? Yeah, yeah, it does kind of go hand in hand. Um, in this sport, you want to be strong just to keep from falling apart. Um, and everybody else is going to be strong too, flexible. It also has a, a mental component. So you are definitely going to end up getting definitely. smarter because of all the techniques and strategy that goes into this too. So it's, yeah. it's got a combination of a lot of things. A lot of discipline. Oh yeah, yeah. So how often is some classes here? Do you, do you are you the instructor as well? I, I am the head instructor. Okay. Um, so we do basically pretty much all week except for Friday and Saturday prime days to take off. So right. Mondays we have a fundamental class and then going into a more advanced class, which isn't really that advanced. But okay. Tuesdays we do a kickboxing. Um, an instructor comes down from Sandusky and teaches that. Wednesday we're back to fundamentals and then another advanced class at six thirty. Uh, Thursday, then we take the uniform off and we do the same thing, jujitsu at 6:30 p.m. And then wow. Sunday we have a big open mat where people come from all over the area. Oh, really? And no instruction. You just oh, okay. Kind of like open gym, but open, open mat, open oh. gym, and it's just kind of <laughs> hopefully what you've learned during the week. We're going to employ it and practice it. Yeah, a lot. So. Gives everybody a little opportunity to test what they've learned through yep. the week, and and you don't have to listen to me talk the whole time. Right. Usually during the week, you got to listen to me. And talk you see, meet some other new people. Yep. Yep. Wow, that's good. And I see all these medals on the wall. Are them yours? Nope. Some, 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 some of them are mine. We try to have every student get represented up there as much as possible if they're wow. you know, a competitive member of the gym. We've actually ran out of room, so we're, we're going to add some, some more. Some more of this is coming off. Again, the, the co owner is an engineer architect, so yeah. he builds all this stuff. Everything we do wow. here is pretty much custom made. It's a nice gym. I like it. Yeah, I'll show you even how we how we did some of the trim. You guys have done um, a good job. And hung up, but yeah, more metals are going to go around the side here soon. So, excellent. So, all right, so we'll uh, we'll make sure we get some people down here and check you out, and whether it's just for yoga, or or actual. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're open for everything. I mean, self defense, 
Uh, Mr. Shea, Chris Shea runs self-defense, different types of classes out of here as well. So even if it's not on our schedule, there are different events that we'll hold here for different reasons as well. So All right. we've got something for everybody. Sounds great. Thanks, Justin. Thank you, sir. Impressive. They have some nice belts. Yeah. Chris Shea. Chris, man, I heard you're a self-defense instructor here. Yeah, kind of, sort of. Yeah, I, uh, I uh, help out Justin and the guys here that run Iron Soul. And uh, my uh, interest in jujitsu has always been from the self-defense uh, aspect. So I kind of help out. I run some classes uh, geared towards self-defense. I um, especially enjoy uh, working with law enforcement. Mm -hmm. and uh and first responders right uh, i truly believe that it's uh, imperative for all first responders to have some sort of self-defense uh whether you're a paramedic firefighter a police officer uh everybody needs to have uh, some basic uh concepts of uh, self-defense and so i utilize my training in jujitsu to uh, to do that and, and share that knowledge with with students Excellent. You know, I, I totally agree with you. You never know what a uh, police officer or ambulance or EMT, you never know what you're going to see out there in the field. Especially, yes. And especially, exactly. yeah, for that. You never know what you're going to run into. And do you see a lot of women coming through? Yeah, we've uh, seen a, a large uh, group of women starting to take up jujitsu yes. in, in general and self defense. Uh, we run uh, women's self defense classes through this gym here uh, through another company. And, um, and, uh, that, that class just keeps growing exponentially, uh, and especially in the environment that we're in right now, especially with law enforcement. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The beauty about jujitsu as, as a, as a self-defense tool is um, in, in law enforcement realm, the, the, the rate of injury to the, law, law, to the officer, mm -hmm. as well as the rate of injury to uh, the suspects have dramatically decreased when the officer has training in jujitsu, because it is more about control, right. position and control, um, which is imperative, especially in the environment that we live in now. Mm -hmm. Wow, sounds great. Well, thanks a lot, Chris. Hey, no problem, Tony, thank you. The general theme is, is that jujitsu, almost all fights end up going to the ground. We don't want to, but that's generally what happens with fights. And so if you end up on the ground, obviously you want to be on top, okay. but if you're not, then what's going to happen, come down here, get down on your knees, and I'm going to put you in what, I, what we can sort of close guard. So I got my arms down my leg, yep, got my legs wrapped around you, and now I can, I'm controlling you. Oh, right? okay. yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, because now, see, I can use my hips, my legs to control you, okay. right? So one of the things that we're going to do is the triangle, is a choke, all right? It's good for self-defense, but it's also good for uh, sports jiu-jitsu. I teach this to women for self-defense because obviously this would be a position that women might find themselves in yeah. in a sexual assault. So a triangle using my legs, I'm going to one arm in and one arm out. Okay. I'm going to wrap my legs around, get across like oh, this, yeah. and I'm going to hook it up, and I'm going to choke. And I'll tap if it's too much. All right. Okay. I forgot to tell you that part. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And when you wow. when you pull ahead, pull it down hard. Uh -huh. Go ahead, pull it down hard. All right, now squeeze your legs like Suzanne Summers. Yeah. Ah, man. And what that does is consider a blood choke. And what it does, it's cutting off the carotid arteries on both sides. My shoulder is going to cut off the one side, and then your leg is cutting off the other side. And wow. eventually, I run out of oxygen. And I'll go to sleep. Yeah, I could, I could feel it definitely. Yeah. So obviously, if we're doing self-defense, we're not, we're not expecting to tap. We're, we're, we right. want to put yeah. him to sleep. You want to put him to sleep. And if a woman's being sexually assaulted, then she's going to do that choke. Guy's going to go unconscious, and then she kick him off. And, and you see how effective that is. Yeah. How easy. You just need effective. one arm in, one arm out, and start strangling. And even if it's not like immediate, that blood flow is still being restricted. So if you hold it long enough, um, so oftentimes it's immediate, right. and sometimes it's not, but it's still very effective. Wow. But that's, just, kind of, that's the kind of stuff you guys teach here, huh? Well, that's, oh, that's, that's cool. just a drop in a bucket. Lay on your back again. Right. That, that closed guard, though, that's 
that's really essential for if you're on the bottom. Because right. it's like I said, it's really so much control. Lock, lock your ankles up, right? So if we're fighting, right, uh -huh. you can just pull me in, boom, and then break my posture, hold me down, right? And now, see, I, I might be able to still hit you, but right. it's, you're certainly, so not, it's yeah. certainly not going to have the same force, right? Yep, you're restricting. Yep. So obviously, we want to try to uh, get out from under the bottom. Right. So there's what we call sweeps and reversals technical they're basically the same it's just uh, semantics as far as the sports jujitsu versus uh, self-defense but you know, the whole idea is to try to create a good position uh, and then uh, have a dominant position and either control them or escape hmm. wow. escape is one of the biggest things we teach in self-defense right. you know why especially if you're not trained in fighting why stay in there in the fight when you can escape yeah, safely. Safe, yeah. yeah. Oh, good stuff, man. I love it. <laughs> oh.